Hi, I'm Stephanie Brandt, ichthyologist with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife. Since 2007, my colleagues and I have been working on a project to restore Lake Sturgeon to the Upper Cumberland River. Lake sturgeon populations were drastically reduced and even eliminated from some rivers due to overfishing, pollution, and habitat destruction. In Kentucky, it became endangered and is now among the species with greatest conservation need. Every year, we receive fertilized eggs from the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. The eggs are hatched at the Pfeiffer Fish Hatchery in Frankfurt. Once they grow to eight inches, they are stocked in two locations within the Upper Cumberland River drainage. All lake sturgeon are marked to distinguish between their year classes prior to their stocking. This restoration project is long-term because lake sturgeon are not mature until they are around 20 years old, meaning they cannot reproduce on their own until then. But they can live up to 150 years and grow to eight feet in length. This project will be successful when we see Lake Sturgeon successfully spawning. Anglers can help by immediately releasing Lake Sturgeon if caught. There is a no harvest regulation making it illegal to possess Lake Sturgeon. In the case of an accidental capture, this is the fish as it's come in. We've already pulled the circle hook out. We've used our needle nose pliers. We've used circle hook hooks today fishing so that we can reduce some of the release mortality with the fish. And so you see here, Matt has his gloves on. That's because there's these bony structures across the side of the fish. And these can be really sharp, not just in the little fish, but also as these fish um, age, sometimes that doesn't get knocked down. And so as you go through, we also would like for you to get a picture of the fish so that you can capture these scoots. We're looking for some scoot removals. You can see those here on this side of the fish. And then we also, if you have time to take a quick measurement and take a total length or a fork length, trying to go from the tip of the nose either to the fork right here, or you can go from the tip of the nose all the way to the tip of the tail. We'll take either the fork length or the total length. If you have scales on you that you can easily pop them on top of a scale and get a weight, then go for it. But if not, just release them back to the water as fast as you can. Please email that information to stephanie.brant at ky.gov. Poaching and illegal killing of lake sturgeon is a threat to this restoration effort. Anglers and other citizens can help by reporting suspected illegal activity to 1-800-25-ALERT. More information about the history and restoration effort of Lake Sturgeon is available in the spring issue of Kentucky Field Magazine. This restoration project is hope for the future. Hope that Lake Sturgeon populations in the Cumberland River as well as populations across the Southeast will thrive in the many years to come.